Hello everyone and welcome back to Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I am Automatitan and today we are playing Cliff Jumper and alongside us we have Jazz. We are heading into somewhere that looks just as bad as Iacon, but then again that's not really too too much of a surprise because the entirety of Cybertron is a bit war torn and a bit damaged. As I've said before, it is heading on to be a uninhabitable planet. Jazz, Jazz, is that Grimlock's craft? It does look like the vehicle that was stolen. That it does. Right, see if you can find anything, Jazz. Good, good. Okay, maybe we can find it. Get out of there, Jazz. Come on, Jazz, you're okay. Well, he does, Cliff. He does. The coolest Autobot on Cybertron. Okay. Yes, it does. Okay, it looks like they did find the Dinobots before we got here. Hi! That was very quiet, but it's fine. Right, get a bomb on this and everything should be good. So, this level, if I remember correctly, it is a bit stealth... Well, it shows off Cliff's ability to do stealth rather well, but my ability to do stealth, not all that great. Okay, doesn't look like he's going to be moving, so we're just going to turn into our bot mode and dude dude you you really don't think that there's someone behind you about to murder you okay that will well that decepticon does not know anything about his surroundings they need to have a bit more map awareness methinks right Let's get the cloak on the go. Can I not get my cloak on the go? No. Unfortunate. What is that? None right now, but I'm sure Cliff does have a plan. Turn back into vehicle mode and let us just carry on through the area. Yep. These are probably the ones that caused the Energon Spike and baited Grimlock and his team. Yes, some of this tech is pretty recent. The yep. Decepticons are using this as some kind of waste management facility. The kind of waste you get from milling Energon. In the sea of rust? Coming from somewhere. Grimlock knew something we didn't. Find a way upstairs. On it. This is one of my lesser favourite levels in the game, although it is fun, but then again I just really enjoy playing this game and I'm going to get rid of that drone just in case it is a, well, unless it's going to prove to be a issue and just have a bit of a drive through the ventilation. Right, that is another drone down. Hey, I'd rather have Shockwave in charge. Yeah, Shockwave has pets, and his pets are glorious. Right, that's one more Decepticon down. And this is... You have horrible awareness. 
You are worse than the solid guards on hard difficulty. You are all horrible when it comes to accuracy. Just become a invisible little vehicle. And can we assassinate this guy? I plan on it, Jazz. I plan on it. These Decepticons are the worst guards ever. And it takes a lot for me to consider you to be one of the worst guards. I mean, the guards in all of Dishonored were horrible. But the guards in this, the Decepticons are inept. He's not going to spot me. At least I highly doubt it. We're going to go invisible. Actually, wait. Is there anywhere we can go? Yes, there is. I'm just going to remain invisible. That's not a blueprint. I only really care about the blueprints. Right, where to now? Okay, there are two cons in the room. I imagine if I sneak down and assassinate that guy, he will turn around and not even... No, never mind. He has just carried on with his patrol and I refuse to believe that us jumping down like that would not have caused any noise. These Decepticons, they make me sad. Right, I'm gonna road kill you. No one's there, no one's there. You, you were rammed by an invisible creature who then went behind you and stood on your face. Right, everything is good, everything is good. We are tiny. You say it's going to be fine, Cliff. I don't believe you. Cliff is good at stealth. Cliff Jumper is good at stealth. Right, just go invisible, Cliff, and everything will be okay. He's not wrong though, Cliff Jumper. He is not wrong. I love the banter between Cliff and Jazz. Just gonna get rid of the rocket trooper and stay behind some cover. Well, as I say, stay behind some cover, we get shot down by some of the more accurate cons. It won't be fine, Cliff. It won't be fine. Hmm. Could upgrade that to get the final upgrade. But I'm thinking more along the lines of the photon burst rifle. So we're going to purchase this. Going to upgrade it as we have the credits for it. So, ion cartridge. Hyper Interlink, and last but not least, the Tachyon Transmitter. Ooh, I do like that upgrade. Unfortunately though, we cannot afford it. Cliff, as I said before, you are fantastic at stealth. See? Yeah, that wasn't loud at all. Okay, Cliff. We are going to get Decepticons coming now. There's gonna be a rocket trooper over there, and here is the plan. We are going to shoot down as many of them as we can with our with our photon burst rifle and in the event that we cannot we're going to die and um, death is not optimal but we encountered it anywhere right let's try this again shall we it won't be fine cliff it won't be fine It 
might be a good idea to actually get the final upgrade on the assault rifle. Probably the load crane. Okay, just wait it out for the rocket trooper and then we can deal with him accordingly. Is he down? Yeah, the rocket trooper is down. Just stay behind the small piece of cover that we have provided for us and we should, theoretically at least, be okay. Let's get rid of the barrel which will explode and let's get out of here. Yeah, but we died a few times in the process of obtaining victory. Things are being scanned. Let's go and visit if we can. No, we can't. Unfortunate. Hello? Hmm. Curious. Hello? Oh. Oh. That looks rather tanky. I don't want to anger that. I don't think I like that. Okay. Where do I need to go? Hmm. I don't know where I have to go, but I need to get rid of that Decepticon. You saw nothing! You saw nothing! Okay, it doesn't believe me that it saw nothing. Go invisible, go invisible. Cliff, I need you to go invis! Turn back into your detection mode. Turn back into your detection mode, good sir. So then I can actually hurt you. He's now going to transform again. And we are going to proceed this game of hide and seek. No. Bad Decepticon. Bad. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting Automa Titan. And everything will be okay. Hell, we'll reserve you a place on the Ark. We will reserve you a place on the Ark. If you desire that, it can be arranged. All you have to do is stop shooting Cliff Jumper and it will be done. Just stop shooting Cliff Jumper, side with the Autobots, and you get a free ticket to join the Ark. I don't think he wants to join the Ark. Okay, revert to the plan, and he's going to go back into his scanning mode in a moment. Or at least I would like to think he would. But then again, he is incredibly intent on murdering me, but he is down. He is down. And the building is falling apart, unfortunately. I can imagine. Just get out of here, Cliff. Just get out of here. Okay, everything is good, but I need to get through the... Unless, unless there is a vent, we are going to tip off and anger many, many Decepticons. Looks like we are going to have to settle with angering the Decepticons! So we might as well do the boosting thing. Nope. Right, there is a vent for us to go in vehicle mode, which is good. Although there are a lot of these weird drone things in the area. I've always wondered what they are. Doesn't look like I can smash them by driving into them. Anyone here? Hello? Doesn't look like anyone's here, which is good.
That looks like a weapon. No. That is a map room. Many planets. I love things like this. I wish. That would be a sun. Hello Earth. That would be our solar system. Suppose the agents visited all these places. Jazz? It's possible, Cliff. I. What do we have to deal with? I thought we were all on the same side. Nope. Was always on his side, period. That's correct, yes. Never trust Starscream. Starscream only looks out for himself. And if I'm not mistaken, in tier well that might actually be a spoiler, so I'm not gonna say anything. Right, so if I'm not mistaken, I saw four, maybe f oh. Oh, we saw three. I thought I saw four, maybe five. Okay, so we don't have that many Decepticons to deal with. So we are just going to try and lose... Well, we're going to try and make it so that they can lose sight of us. And it does look like there were far, well, four Decepticons in the area. So far, they do not know where we are, which is fantastic. I'm going to go into vehicle in human mode, well, bot mode even, and just quickly assassinate as many of the Decepticons as I can. It's a shame that you two are right next to each other, but one of you is going to die and the other one is going to get gunned down. Actually, no, I'm going to smack you in the face. That is another room of cons down, and we are good to move on ahead, and I don't like what I see. I see one of these creatures, two, three, I really don't like them, they are not friends. It doesn't know where I am. It doesn't know where I am. At least I don't think it knows where I am. Okay, it knows where I am. They know where I am, which is good. We can bait them all to this corner, and then we can do stealth things. Hello! Come on, all three of you, back to this corner. The second all three of you get to this corner, I'm going to carry on with my duty of attempting to find Grimlock. Then again, I think they are all sufficiently out of position right now, so we should be okay. I say that and they immediately find me. Right, pull the lever and get out of here. Come on, come on Cliff. Faster, faster. We are going to die, Cliff. We are going to get scrapped at the hands of these very ugly cons. Hello Cons, I see you have your relatively tanky Cons, which I don't approve of. Okay, that checkpoint kind of lies, but I approve. I approve of that lying checkpoint. Go into stealth and go, no, 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 this was a mistake. I wanted to go into vehicle form, not into... Melee. Right, everything is good. We got past them. We are going to be okay. At least I hope we're going to be okay. Get into this tunnel. And theoretically we are going to be able to get past the security. Six, de six Decepticons though. 
is not something I want to deal with. Right, that's you going down. Let's go in Viz if there is any chance of us being spotted. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. That beam saw us. This is not good. Right. In Viz here, he's going to go around the corner. Come on, turn. Do not look at me. Do not look in my general direct. No! He barely caught a glimpse. He barely caught a glimpse. You probably will. You are arguably one of the tankier cons I have encountered. And I need to get in this. I needed to get into that vent. But unfortunately, I could not fit in. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Attempt number three. Right, that's us in the invis mode. Jump up and just get through here. Then we're going to go through this ventilation shaft again. And hopefully... Oh! It does look like... Well, from the dialogue, which I forgot to mention a moment ago, it looks like Shockwave and Starscream are having a bit of a tiff. It seems that they have a different idea in how to lead the Decepticons. Which, to be honest, you should probably always listen to Shockwave as he runs almost entirely on logic. Come on. Okay, we are safe. Well, we're not safe, but we are okay for now. Our shield has recharged. <coughs> Our shield has recharged. And that droid thinks we are missing, which is good. Just need him to leave and we can potentially assassinate him. Or not, because we've been spotted. Right, that's one down. Can I get the other one before I go down? No, but we got mutual death. I always like mutual death in games. Especially in Dark Souls 2 PvP, mutual death is always more satisfying than a outright loss. Just because I hate you, I'm executing you. And those who are under you don't even care that you're gone. That makes me happy. Hopefully this time we can get through this area. Right, the big dude has arrived, so we're just going to jump back a few times. Come on, come on. Okay, I cannot do my dodge, which is not good. This is not good, but we can jump. His little dis deactivation field thing does not stop me from being able to jump and so long as we have the capability of jumping we should be good to go okay titan you are almost out of this place just go in this go back into vehicle form and drive your ass out of here come on activate the thing pull the thing I think it's such a great word. Yes, he did. It might be a hothead. It might be a hothead, but he is one of the most loved Autobots in all of Transformers. Who doesn't love Grimlock?
and more of the rather tanky Decepticons. You alright, Jazz? I hope Jazz, Jazz is probably fine. He's probably okay, Cliff. He's probably okay. He's going to be fine, Cliff. Don't worry about it. Right now, we're just going to need to be concerned about ourselves so we can actually get out of here alive and maybe, just maybe, find Grimlock. Right, we can assassinate this one, which is good. The more of these we can assassinate, the better. I do like how they are incorporating the vents into this level. <coughs> Hi there! Good night. Okay, that is a lot of Decepticons down. I'm coming, buddy. On my way. On my way, bro. Right, that would be two cons. Right, how can I get behind one of them without the other seeing me? I don't think I can right now. But an opportunity will more than likely present itself, and a opportunity has presented itself, although I did not manage to capitalise on it. There we go, that is one of them done. And shall we make that two? Yes we shall! That is two Decepticons done. Hello there! His partner is now on your back and you are going down. I think I can. Aye. Got it, Jazz. Okay, so far so good. We have gotten through a substantial amount of the level so far, and what? Okay, I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to like these things. They look like death. So less of the death, please. We just want to get through this place and maybe find one of our friends. Then again, from the way Jazz has been describing Grimlock throughout the level, I don't really think Jazz and Grimlock get along. Suddenly Jazz has become Batman. Okay, so far so good, but it looks like there is a shotgun trooper on the field. Where, where's he gone? Where's the Autobot gone? Where's the Autobot gone that you were just shooting at? He's directly behind you and you are now deceased. That's because you have a grappling hook, Jazz, so you can do all of the heavy lifting. Then again, you can't lift everything, but I have bombs, and bombs are great. Boom! I said boom. Wow. Grimlock? Grimlock lays waste Grimlock to everything. Probably after the same thing the cons are after. Whatever that is. Nobody's heard from Grimlock or his team since. Grimlock has a team? Yeah. The lightning strike, something or other. Terrible. Jess, look. Interesting. 
Bart's facility is collecting the toxic byproduct of Energon refining. Yep. There must be an Energon supply nearby. More than likely. The storm is still mucking my signal, but Cliff, I'm detecting a faint distress signal. It's out of Bart. With certain grim. Or at least a hope with friend or I hope we have at least friend Grimlock. Right, that's probably a sniper rifle for us to use. Just after they have already shot it. Aye. We're gonna be we are going to be okay though. We just need to get rid of them get rid of them as they attach themselves to a wall. So far so good. We have yet to be scrapped. We have taken out as many snipers as I can see. Although there may be one or two more that I have missed, yep. Thankfully. These guys are nowhere near as accurate as the infamous Jackals of Halo. I hate those things. Although there is one Jackal that I have encountered in playing Halo that I have forgiven for being a Jackal. I mean, it wasn't really his fault, but he has made it up to me by... Well, what happened was, I was about to get murdered by a Jackal, and a Jackal came right up behind him and murdered him. Now, I am certain that he was aiming for me, but accidentally murdered his friend, but, but, I didn't want to kill that jackal. That jackal was Ace. I named him Bob. He was my jackal. I mean, yes, he tried to kill me directly after, but I couldn't kill him. I could not kill Bob. Anyway, we are not playing Halo today, we are playing Fall of Cybertron, and we are, if memory serves, we are right at the end of today's episode. Well, I say that, we are about 10 minutes away. Right, that looks like the ideal thing for a bomb. Perfect. Okay. I'll do my best. So, the first time I ever played through Fall of Cybertron, I was playing through it on hard mode, and I remember this area of the game to be a complete nightmare, but that was on hard mode. And today we are playing this on easy and you were a bit of an awkward swine to get behind which is a good thing for you and a very 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 bad thing for me how many times did I say very if there is a drinking game de dedicated to that I may have just murdered your liver either way we are doing well the bomb is almost done though Right, there should only be a few more cons in the area. I said there should only be a few more, and that was not your signal to reinforce the deceptive cons. Let's try this again, shall we? And this time, I'm thinking we are going to be going with a shotgun. Yeah. A shotgun would be a good thing to have right now. So we're going to upgrade to the hyperlink. And can we get that? No. But that does look like a glorious thing for for us to have on the scatter blaster. Can I equip any of the any of the I went blank for words then. Can I equip any of the heavy weapons? Doesn't well. It does look like it. So what do I want? I am probably well. I can't afford the thing that I wanted. So let's get the scrap maker and let's get out of here. And the bomb. Got it, Jazz. 
<coughs> It'll be okay, Cliff. You'll get out of here fine. At least, I'm sure you will. Okay, so this time we are armed with what is effectively a minigun. So we are going to have a easier time dealing with the Decepticons that are coming at us from all sides. Get rid of the shotgun and get rid of the shotgun. Good man, Titan. Good man. Right, can I get rid of this con before he puts any shells into the into the bomb? No. But unfortunately for us, there are a lot more Decepticons in the area. Right, so far so good. We just have a few more cons to get rid of as we defend the bomb. Hurry up and reload. Hurry up and reload! Go into invis, assassinate the dude. Right, we are running low on health. Right, so far so good. And the bomb is almost down. Go invis and let us assassinate one. Okay, that's one of the shotgunning is down and make that two. Is that everyone? Oh, we're going to put a bomb on a bomb. That's fine. Let's retreat. It can detonate now. Okay, we are good. Take the plunge. Later! That's cheating! 